As a motion designer, you often face the challenge to create content for different output formats, such as interactive web animations or classic videos. With Tumult Hype, it's super easy to create animated scenes for both scenarios. That's what I really love about Hype. You can create your content once and publish everywhere. So you don't have to use different tools for the same animation tasks, but different outputs. We use Hype for our explanatory videos, client web projects, and even internal pitches all the time. We even created the animated opener of this show you're watching right now with Hype. This is a small over-the-shoulder video for those of you who are interested in the production process. So let me walk you through the steps quickly. Usually we start in the creation tool of our choice. It's mostly Adobe Illustrator. Here we create all the vector assets, character designs, and sprite sheets, and so on. If you're interested in the vector creation process itself, also check out our other videos. We will be publishing more videos very soon. So back to our project. During the asset creation process, we also create the big picture or the storyboard. For example, with Illustrator's artboard feature. The final step is exporting all the assets in the format we need, for example, as PNGs with alpha channels. Illustrator's asset export feature comes in handy here. It's pretty straightforward and there are lots of options. In the next step, we move over to Tumult Hype for animating, and that's where the fun part begins. Here, we assemble all the created assets by organizing them in different scenes according to the storyboard. We use symbols for sub-animations we want to reuse in different scenes. And again, if you're interested in more comprehensive tutorials on Hype's timeline and symbol features, check out our other videos and also use the comment section below to let us know what you're interested in. If we have everything in place and all animations orchestrated, we can start exporting the single scenes by using Hype's export as a movie feature. Here, we have several options from rendered videos to single frame sequences. At our company, we mostly use PNG sequences with alpha channels here because we do the final authoring in Adobe Premiere or even After Effects, but you don't have to do that. You can already export the final final videos directly from Hype and then publish them directly to, for example, YouTube, Vimeo, or the platform of your choice. In the final step, we throw our exported videos right into Adobe Premiere, where we do some timing tweaks, add audio tracks, and also add some video effects or secondary animations that go beyond the possibilities of Hype. In this case, we just added a small secondary motion animation to demonstrate the workflow. And it doesn't have to be super accurate here because you will see it just for the blink of an eye. You can use all the advanced video filters and effects that come with Premiere by just adding them right to the file we exported from Hype. It's really a piece of cake. And when we are happy with the result, we use Adobe's Media Encoder to export the final video files for all the different platforms out there. Well, that's how we created the opener for Tour de Hype. It was super fun bringing these little characters to life and hype. And I hope this video was helpful or at least a little bit inspiring for you guys out there. And we can't wait to see what amazing stuff you guys will create with Tumult Hype. If you have something to share, please leave a comment. We're really looking forward to see your work. Happy animating with Tumult Hype.